What's up, Buff Nation? Today, we've got several great news stories for you, so let's get started. Our main story today is about Oregon's coach, Dan Lanning, and some things that he had to say about Coach Prime in Colorado. Plus, we're also going to talk about Coach Prime's kids buying him a new multi-million dollar gift, as well as some other great stories. So grab you a margarita, sit back, and get ready, because this is the prime time for college football. Our first story today, we're going to talk about what the head coach of Oregon had to say about Colorado. Now, for those of you who may have missed it, during the regular season, when Colorado was playing Oregon, Coach Lanning said this during his pregame speech. Rooted in substance, today we talk with our pads. You talk with your helmet, right? Every moment. The Cinderella story is over, men. They're fighting for clicks, and we're fighting for wins. There's a difference. There's a difference. This game ain't going to be played in Hollywood. It's going to be played on grass. Now, let me repeat this. Dan Lanning said that during the season. However, recently, Oregon's Dan Lanning went on the Ryan Rossillo podcast and was asked about that speech specifically. On the show, Lanning admitted that he does have some regrets about what he said. His main regret that he admitted, he said, people have asked since, hey, can we throw a camera in the locker room? And I learned my lesson. So no, you can't have a camera in our locker room anymore. It was the first time I was ever asked to have a camera in the locker room, and it was the last time I'll probably ever have one in there. Was it a bad thing for Oregon? No. At the end of the day, it ended up being a good thing for Oregon, but it was never about any other team than us. That's what it was all about. Now, I want to get your thoughts on this, and I want you to tell me, do you think he's sincere? Do you think he wishes this hadn't come out? Do you think he was really taking a shot at Coach Prime? Let me know what you think down below, and here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to keep it super real. You may agree with this. You may not, but here's what I think happened. I don't think Dan Lanning has it out for Coach Prime. I don't think he was trying to talk down about Coach Prime or talk down about what Colorado does or be super negative about that. I just don't. I think when you're in a locker room right before a game, you're trying to say anything and everything you can to rile up your team, to pump up your team, to get your guys that little bit of extra edge. I think Dan Lanning has a ton of respect for Coach Prime. I think Dan Lanning has an immense amount of respect for what Coach Prime is doing at Oregon. And I think that what that truly boiled down to was he had never had cameras in the locker room before. And I think that he was just trying to give his kids a little extra motivation, a little jab or two extra before. Michael Jordan has talked about in his documentary um, that – even if the other team wasn't talking smack to him because teams ended up learning not to talk smack to Michael Jordan, he would invent it in his own mind. He would think up his own smack talk and look at the way that maybe another player looked at him and get offended by that to go out and play his hardest against them. And so I think coaches and teams do this pretty often. And I don't think that he has some personal vendetta against Deion Sanders I think that he was trying to use any little thing that he could to rile his team up and get his team that little extra motivation. And I don't think he regrets necessarily saying it. I think he regrets that it came out and there were cameras in the room to capture every single moment of that. Because I don't think that he disrespects Coach Prime. I think that he just kind of got caught on camera saying something that he regrets being public information. There are a lot of things that happen in locker rooms that coaches say and players say that probably should never be public information. And this is probably one of them. At least Dan Lanning did go on record and say that he does have some regrets about it. And he wishes that that had not been something that the entire world learned about. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Next, we're going to talk about Coach Prime's kids buying him a new multi-million dollar gift. Now, recently, Deion Sanders' sons, Shador, Shiloh, and Deion Jr. surprised their father with a brand new house in Colorado. 
The mansion has a workout room. It has a massage room. It has a wine cellar. It has an indoor movie theater and an outdoor pool. Sanders was very emotional about the gift, saying that it almost brought him to tears. He also said that the house is a motivator for him to win both on and off the field. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to tape the next live episode of Primetime for College Football here at this house. So if any of you know Coach Prime and would like to set that up, please don't hesitate to email at us at the, uh, at the email on the YouTube channel. But all jokes aside, this is phenomenal. It's super cool. It kind of shows a little bit more of a dedication to staying in Boulder. A lot of people think that Coach Prime's just here for the year and then gone. I think that's silly. I think he wants to be here, and I think he wants to win. Now, winning matters, right? You, you've got to continue to win, and you've got to continue to show improvement, and you've got to continue to point this thing in the right direction, which I think they're doing. I have no doubts about but it is cool to see the investment, and it's cool when you see people give back. It's cool when you see people do something for their family, and Coach Prime doesn't necessarily need his kids to do anything for him financially or giving a gift. But you could tell what a special moment it was between the family when you watched the video. Lastly, we're going to talk about some controversial comments that Coach Prime made on NIL. Now, recently... Coach Prime went on the Brett Boone podcast and said parents are misleading kids on NIL deals. What did he mean? He criticized parents acting as wannabe agents, sometimes giving kids pretty bad advice that can hurt players' long-term success. He warned that overinflated expectations and get-rich-quick schemes can lead to pretty big disappointment later on. And he blames... Sometimes they're families. Coach Prime said that he avoids selling false promises and knows when to walk away from unrealistic NIL demands. He also said that he very much supports NIL, but wants fairer practices, and that while he was happy players are getting compensated, he's also worried about a lack of transparency and the need for better regulations. We've talked about that a ton. We've the NCAA is really good at that. They're really good at just opening things up, full faucet, turn the water and the spigot on all the way and deal with the consequences of that later. It's like they turn on an entire spigot to fill up a little six ounce glass of water. And it's insane. We've talked a lot about NIL. We've talked a lot about the need for it in Colorado. We've talked a lot about how the NCAA kind of like put it out there and didn't put any guardrails up for it, which is having an impact on these kids. But I know of deals specifically where kids will try to shop their name, image, and likeness value for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they're sometimes a third stringer. Sometimes they saw action in four or five games the year before, and starters aren't getting that kind of money in some situations. And so kids are seeing unrealistic numbers put out by different outlets, by different media, by different news organizations. Kids lie, and they're seeing that and then trying to go to other teams to, and demanding it. And Coach Prime said, look, we're, we're not going to call the kids out. But when we see that, we just politely move on. We just politely say, not here. You know, no thanks. If you can get it elsewhere, good luck to you. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about that down in the comments as well. Speaking on the NCAA, we talked to you a little about how Colorado was in a little bit of hot water with them. They self-reported some violations. I went deeper into that on our new national channel. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description. I'm going to put the video on the screen right now. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button while you're over there. We've got more Coach Prime content coming on that channel as well, almost to a thousand subscribers. So I need like 200 of you to hit that button and subscribe and hang out with us. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Go check the video out on the screen, and thank you for watching the prime time for college football.